Hi guys, it's Jan. Welcome back. So this is part two of the haul that I just did. Um, this is kind of collective over the course of a couple weeks. Some things I had ordered. Uh, some things I just picked up recently, day before yesterday. So let me show you what I have, and this is the clothing portion. I just did the Sephora and the makeup. So what's at my feet right here now are two pairs of shoes. And these I just got day before yesterday. And these are by Luxury Rebel, and I think these are really sweet little running around kind of shoes, but, um, running around for me anyway, um, but what I love about these is that the heel is very reminiscent of a French designer called Isabelle Mahant, and Isabelle Mahant makes heels like this or made it popular, and she has a pair of shoes, a pair of boots rather, with the exact same heel that were very coveted, very hard to get. I couldn't get my hands on them, and even if I could, I don't even know if I could have afforded them. They were very, very expensive, but just absolutely absolutely beautiful heel um, design and when I saw it with the shoe and this is leather and it's in a very pretty um, th these kinds of colors are my favorite kinds of colors like the smoky olives and things like that um, I loved it and it's by a designer called Luxury Rebel and these were only $29 in TJ Maxx. So these are really great um, to get the kids to school in the morning because how you see me here is how I'm at school at 8 o'clock in the morning because I get up at 5. You know, I get up for 5 and I have an hour to myself and I watch my videos and I watch the news and then I get dressed and I'm always showered the night before so it doesn't take me too long. But this is how I go to school. So I don't want to go to school in these obnoxious 6 inch stilettos for the summer. I can, but I won't do that. Um, no, I never did. I did with boots. I, I've gone there with very high boots. But with summer sandals, you know, you don't want to look ridiculous. So this is what, um, this is a great heel. And they're leather and they're comfy. And these I could see wearing all day. So got those and they were cheap. They were $29. The other ones I ordered from Ukes. I think I made mention of Ukes as being one of my favorite websites ever to shop. And these... These are my cage shoes, and I wore them already once on a Saturday, not too long ago with my husband. We went out to dinner. These are Pour La Victoire's, and I wore these out to dinner, and we've had warm weather, um, but are they not beautiful? I just love these, and the zipper's on the side, and I love them, and I've worn them just once already, but they, to me, are the most beautiful shoe. I love them. And the be most beautiful bone nude. So I'm very excited about those. I can't wait to get a lot of wear out of them in the summertime. The other things I'm going to reach over here. Um, another thing I bought from Ukes, which is just a plain t-shirt, but it's uh, a Dolce & Gabbana plain t-shirt. I've worn it. You can see a little couple smudges up there. But um, just a really great plain black t-shirt. You can't go wrong with this with jeans. So I love that. The other thing I just bought was, uh, I'd say about a week ago in H&M. This dress was out last summer. I remember watching a video with Donna Shorts. And this is from H&M's Conscious Collection. And I got this the other day on clearance, well, about a week ago, for about $15. And all the threads are in place, and all the stones are in place, and it's just a long dress that kind of angles out, gives it like an A-line effect, and it's so pretty. And I could totally see myself wearing these shoes with them. I love this. This is definitely a summer night in the city outfit with me and my husband, so I can't wait to wear that. Um, the other thing I bought was off of eBay. It's a designer from LA, her name is Whitley Cross, and I learned of her a couple years back from a show I used to watch, um, not a show, a video uh, fashion diary that used to be called Fashion Air. And it's no longer um, being made, and it's sad because they profiled designers that you may not have heard of, and, you know, what style editors wear and what buyers wear. It was kind of more, it was definitely fashion related, fashion industry related um, people and stuff that I had heard of in, in years ago, but she's a new designer, or more of the, the newer ones, maybe maybe by now, maybe five or six years, but she made this dress, and I found it on eBay, because I, I remember her, and I remembered, I just read something about her, and I said, let me see if I could find something, and I couldn't find a store, so I went on eBay, and I found this dress, and I love it, it's by Whitley Cross, well, they say just say Whitley, I know her last name is Cross, and um, it's, it goes for 115 I didn't pay that. I paid a little bit less than that. 
but I just thought, even though it's more jewel tone, even if I don't wear it now, um, I could definitely wear this during the holidays of next year. But it's it's sleeveless, so it is meant for warmer weather. And I just think it's all silk, and I th just think the colors are absolutely stunning. And that's the back. So I love that. And my favorite purchase has to be this. And this, to me, is the antithesis of sheer perfection and class. And it's a silk shirt by Equipment. Equipment makes some of the best silk shirts, if not the best, I feel. Uh, it's just fantastic. And it's gray silk. And I know it's long sleeve. I know it's long sleeve. It was on sale. Not that that really mattered much, because even on sale, it was still a bit pricey. But it was better than paying full price for something that's absolute sheer perfection. I just love... And you can, this is just a, such a blousey, sexy shirt to wear, tucked in jeans, with even those cage shoes. I would do this and roll up the sleeves, and I'm good to go with a clutch. So that's what I got. And these are my most recent purchases. So I absolutely love all that. Um, I hope you did too. I know this was kind of quick, kind of rambling, and I'm not standing up and showing everything, but ask me anything if you have any questions of anything I bought. But um, it's amazing, though, this H&M dress that I remember clearly from last year. One of them at least made its way to the front of the store again, and they were put on clearance, so I guess I lucked out. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. I have a couple other videos I have in mind. I want to do my March favorites. And I want to do a what's in my bag video. I haven't done that. I keep switching out my bag and I go from, you know, it's nice and dirty and I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know if anyone does what I do. When I'm ready to switch out a bag, now my bag is a mess. Like right now, if I were to do a what's in my bag video, I can pull out, let me show you. I can pull out, I'm using my Speedy right now. If I were to do this right now, I have the Sephora card. I have, obviously, my keys, my makeup. I have errant, you know, tissues and paper. You know, this would be good right now to do this. But what I do is, when I want to quickly change out my bags, I take all my stuff that's in here, I take out the essentials, and I take all the stuff, like the tissues and the papers, and half the time I'll just put them in, I'll leave them in the bag, and I'll take all the good stuff. And every bag will have some sort of junk in it, is what I'm trying to say. So I do that with all my bags. I don't know if anyone's like that. But instead of just going to the garbage can and taking that piece of plastic that came off of a McDonald's toy, I just leave it in there and I take out my wallet. So I know that's, that's probably gross, but... My bag's good and dirty is really what I'm trying to say. So I want to do that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to do. Definitely the March favorites. And I have some great ideas for some, uh, well, we call them drugstores here, but pharmacy favorites. Um, and I have a lot of Vichy products that I like to show you guys that I use. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I tend to talk a lot, but I guess that's okay. Um, Enjoy your day. I'll see you soon, and hugs to everyone. Bye, guys.